morning and thank you for choosing Starbucks in Logan Mall. My name is Kayla. How may I serve you today? Hi, can I get a Grante white mocha with caramel drizzle and caramel syrup? With caramel drizzle and caramel syrup added to it? What else? Yes, please. That's it. Pardon? That's it. All right, 615. Thanks. Okay, so I tried. <coughs> Still don't have my voice back. This is the first time I've talked today. So, hmm, yay. <coughs> today is my third day off of work. And um, I'm actually just going to the doctor really quick just to see if I can get some more meds to clear up this cough. <coughs> I had to stop off and get a coffee and I gotta get my oil change too so we're supposed to have a big huge snowstorm here this weekend huge snowstorm like three inches but everybody goes in panic mode around here so I wanted to make sure that I have my oil change my gas is in the car I stop off at the store and get some bread and milk and eggs just joking I'm really not getting bread and milk and eggs um I might get milk but I don't we don't need bread and we don't need eggs but anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. And I actually, like, I'm dressed today. Hair is done. Look, I have makeup on. But I still feel like, like poop, and I still sound like poop. If poop actually sounds like anything. But if this is what poop sounds like and looks like, this is what it looks like, okay? Just saying. Let me get my coffee. So that coffee has hit the spot. <coughs> Um, basically what I have is bronchitis. I have a very bad case of bronchitis. And obviously with laryngitis in the mix of it, which is not fun. Um, I started getting sick on the day after Christmas. Um, the day that we like drove around and went to like a couple of cemeteries in Illinois. That was the day that I got back to his parents house and started running a fever so that was like monday night december 26th is when i started getting sick and then um it just kind of like progressed from there <coughs> and it got worse obviously we made it to a nashville and um i was still sick and then i started getting a really bad pain in the bottom of my right foot I mean, I guess it's just plantar fasciitis or whatever, but it's caused a bad cramp in the back of my calf now too. So I don't know if it's like all related and once I get better, it'll all go away. But the one in my right leg has got me a little bit concerned because it's like a, it's like a Charlie horse, but like not going away Charlie horse. So it kind of has me a bit concerned like of a blood clot. I'm not saying that's what that is, but I do like, I know a few things about medical things and I do know things about blood clots. So it just kind of had me a little bit concerned. So um, I keep like putting heat on it and keep like exercising my leg just to make sure that if it is a blood clot that it like breaks up or whatever and before it like gets to my heart or whatever. But anyway, so we got home this is the first time that I've actually been like dressed in regular like street clothes since we got home on Saturday. Um, obviously I've taken a shower but I haven't gotten dressed. I haven't put any makeup on. Yesterday, yesterday was the first day that I actually unpacked our suitcases from being gone. And today was the first day that I actually got out all of my makeup from travel. So, I'm making progress, people. It's just progress. Baby steps, if you will. But it's been horrible. But um, yesterday, I actually went through our entire house and decontaminated, like, doorknobs. I stripped our bed. Um, Brian hasn't been sleeping with me because the cough is so bad. Like, I wake up in the middle of the night with, like, coughing spasms. So, he has not slept with me. He's been sleeping upstairs. This car's stupid. He's been sleeping upstairs. Um, so I could get some rest and so he can get some rest. Because he had to go back to work this week on Tuesday. Which I would have had to go back to work on Tuesday as well. But because I'm sick, I couldn't go back to work. So... I have to go back Monday though. <sighs> it feels so nice on my throat. It just feels so nice. But anyway, so 
so I'm hoping that like the rest of this weekend I'll be able to recoup and start feeling so much better. Um, I think this is like, let's see, day, let's see, when we get to my mom's house, we get to my mom's house on Thursday, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So it's been six days since I've actually had my voice back. Six days with laryngitis. Good times. Yeah. And this weekend is Brian's birthday. We're supposed to go to Fogo de Chao on Saturday. But because of the weather, we're not sure yet. I don't think it's going to amount to anything crazy. I'm not worried about it. But um, people around here freak out. So if it's not Fogo de Chao on Saturday, then it's going to be Pamendi's, which is a, just an Italian restaurant. But we've had plans to go to Fogo de Chao. But I'm gonna go ahead and drive so I can get my car into the oil change, and then I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. Gotta rest my voice, don't wanna strain it. Look where I'm gonna go into for a little bit. I wanna check out some of their Valentine stuff. Yay. So this is what I bought at Hobby Lobby. Two new chairs for the island in the kitchen because I didn't like the ones that I had, so I'm gonna sell those. And these ones were $83 my coupon so I like I totally want to get them they're like $140 chairs I got them for $83 so I'm absolutely in love with them can't wait to put them in the kitchen so here what my bar stools look like in the kitchen I absolutely love them they're so much nicer than the other ones because these these ones have a back on them so you can actually sit back and relax um, I came home and I have some soup that I made last night. It's just some like chicken vegetable soup with kale in there and some whole wheat noodles, some corn, and a few carrots. And that's what I'm going to have right now for some lunch. And then I'm going to clean up a little bit more. So another first for this year. I made up my bed for the first time. Yeah, since we've been home I haven't made up my bed because I've been so sick that I've just kind of been laying in my bed. So today was the first day that I actually made up my bed and it feels like so good to make up my bed. Um, I took my tree down because it was right here. Brian still has to go outside and take all the wreaths and stuff down out there. So he'll probably do that this weekend. Um, I kind of still look like death, but you know, hey, what are you gonna do about it? Um, but anyway, yes, making up my bed. That was a huge thing for me today. First time this year, first time since we've been back from vacation. So, um, I have some clothes that I have to put away. And I have some clothes right there that I have to put away. So I'm going to work on that. And, um, I dusted in here yesterday because I cleaned all of that off. Um, as you can see, that was all Christmas stuff. And now I kind of put Valentine's stuff there. So I'm working on that. And just slowly but surely. I want to show you guys a purse that I got for Christmas. So I got this purse for Christmas. And I got the wallet to match. Hold on. Let's see. I got to like turn the light on. Okay, so I got this wallet for Christmas. It's a Dooney Burke wallet. Absolutely love it. And I got this purse that matches it. So it's kind of got like this cute little, that's what it looks like. Absolutely love it. So happy about it. Um, obviously it was something that I bought from Ryan, of course, because that's just how we do things. And I was going to show you guys a few more things that I got for Christmas as well. Because I haven't been able to do a what I got for Christmas video. So I thought I'd go ahead and sit down and show you guys a few of the things that I got um, for Christmas. Um, okay, so... I've also started dismantling that thing. I'm leaving the tree up because it's going to be like a Valentine's tree. So, alrighty. So, Brian's cousin made me this. It's just the letter K out of wood. I thought that was really, really cute. And then, um, Brian's cousin, other cousin, um, made me these, co made me these coasters. Look at these coasters. Look. They're Disney coasters. Like, you know, to set your drinks and stuff on. So he made me a set of four of those. So I got two black ones and two white ones. Absolutely love these. I've been dying to share them with you guys, but I haven't 
I've been able to. Okay, and then um, what I got from Brian <laughs> um, is I got the chocolate uh, Too Faced palette. This is the um, Bon Bon one. I haven't even opened it yet to try it to see what it looks like, but um, this is what I got from Brian in my stocking. And then I got this Roll With It um, original pink rollerball. I think it's perfume, but I got this too in my stocking. And then I got the Victoria's Secret Paris perfume. I got this. This was one of the things that I had purchased for myself from Brian, but that's what I got. And then I got the um, Victoria's Secret Paris um, body lotion. What is that one? Is that the body lotion? Yeah, lotion, fragrance lotion. I got that. And then I got um, another uh, boudoir palette. And I think that's still in my bag from um, when I was traveling. And then from my mom, or from my sister, I got a $50 gift card for any restaurant. And um, <clears throat> she also got me a, um, what are those things called? Hang on. Pandora bracelet. Whoa. She got me a Pandora bracelet charm. Because last year for my birthday, she got me a Pandora bracelet. <coughs> 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 she got me a Pandora bracelet. So this year, she got me this teeny tiny charm to go on it. So I'm excited to put that on there. It's my birthstone. So, um, and what else? Um, yeah, that's it. And then my mom does these cute little, like, um, grab bag gifts for everybody and she did a grab bag again this year and for the grab bag I got two spatulas from her grab bag that one and this one so those are the two um, grab bags that I got I think I got a couple other things too but I don't know where they're at I showed you guys the snowman showed you guys the ornaments oh and then I got this book, too, from Brian's mom. It's all about um, Kankakee. I like these historical books, um, especially from, like, places that I've lived and places that I've gone. But this is for a place where I lived for eight years, and this is a place where Brian lived for all of his life. So um, we got this book, too, from Brian's mom. So I'm excited to read about a little bit of history from there. Oh, and I got these slippers. I got these slippers, too. Yeah, got new slippers. Absolutely love those. And I think that's it. And we got money. We got a bunch of money from his parents and from his grandmother. Um, and a cocoa, um, hot cocoa mix stuff and two new mugs. So, yeah, I mean, we did, did really, really well for Christmas this year. But, alrighty, I'm going to go. I'm going to go drink some hot tea and take off these hot clothes because now I'm sweating. And uh, I got a call calm my voice down so I'll check back in with you guys later bye friends so here's a better look at the chairs from this angle now that I've got everything straightened off and I ate my lunch and stuff so I want to show you guys what they look like from this side I absolutely love them I am so happy that I got them because the bottom of them are black and they match the counter or the cabinets this way and then this color is like it brings out color in here so it works out perfectly so I absolutely love them and then this is what I'm working on for like my Valentine's display right now not what I want not exactly the way that I want it to be but it's coming along and then in here I um, decided I, I picked this up at Hobby Lobby too because I did not have like a Valentine's table runner because I did I didn't find it in my totes so anyway so I bought this one and I put it on the dining room table and I still have some of my things that I'm still trying to disperse um, and then I'm gonna fill these with the candy hearts and then put like little candles in there put a ribbon around it but that's what I think I'm gonna do for my Valentine's table display right now and then I still have a few things that I have to put out front of the house and um, get the rest of the Christmas stuff in from out there but anyway so yeah that's what I am doing right now and um, for now I just have these chairs stored in here 
um, I put them on the for sale thread, so I'm gonna try to sell them. Um, another thing too, this is something that Brian's mom gave me when we were there um, for Christmas. Um, this is an old like teapot that she had, and she's been trying to get rid of some of her things, and this teapot was one of them, so I thought it was so cute. Um, I absolutely love it, so I think it's so pretty. So I'm gonna leave this sitting out as well because it's just, it probably won't sit there, but I just think it looks cute um, and pinky for Valentine's and spring. And then I was going to show you guys something else she gave me. Hold on. Okay, this was their set of china when they got married. Um, I also have a big plate that goes with it too. So it's got the large plate and then this plate and then the coffee mug. So she gave me the whole set. I think she said there's a set of eight. Um, this stuff has never, ever been used. Never, ever been used. And I just thought it was so pretty. So um, she gave this to me. And then she gave me this little tea set as well with a little cup and a teapot. I don't know where these came from, so I don't know, like, the history of them. But anyway, she gave these to me, and I just thought they were lovely. So I'm going to keep them. I love them absolutely love those little things and these are just phenomenal so i'm excited to like maybe use these for easter or something but um aren't they beautiful they're just so pretty and look at the detail on them and like i said they've never ever been used so there's no chips or anything out of them because she's never used them and they got married in 1973 1972 they got married so beautiful so lucky to have those but anyway, so yeah, I'm just, I um, changed clothes, I still have my makeup on, still doing things around the house, um, drinking lots of lemon water to keep my voice, um, my throat um, moist and not so dry, but um, yeah, other than that, everything's coming along really, really well. Oh, thank goodness. Hmm. I like having a clean house. I like having everything like where it's supposed to be. So anyway, I'm going to go back to getting the rest of my stuff done. I just wanted to share those things with you because they're beautiful and I love them. And I'm so thankful she gave them to me. Lovely. <laughs> Bye. So I just wanted to tell you guys that because it's Valentine's Day, I'm going to go ahead and leave the red that is in here and then I'm gonna my other um, Valentine's Day pillows I think are up in the attic so Brian's gonna have to get those down this weekend and I'm gonna put those out here on the bed and I'm gonna put them in there on my couch so that way I have um, my Valentine's Day pillows out I already have two of them out those were already down like in the totes but I know I have some up in those Ziploc bags so I have those up in the attic but Brian's got to get those down but anyway um, I've already started some laundry and putting some stuff away um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because it is four o'clock in the evening and Brian will probably be home in about an hour and a half and I want to try to get this up and edited before he gets home that way my time is not consumed with editing and I can spend some time with him. Um, it kind of sounds like I'm getting my voice back slowly but surely. <coughs> Still coughing really bad. But I have to keep my throat moisturized um, and wet. That way um, it doesn't stay dry and, and doesn't cause me to cough and get all crackly and stuff. But anyway, thanks a lot for hanging out with me today, guys. Totally hope that you guys enjoyed it. And I kind of want to do something new for the new year and start off the new year um, with asking you guys a question. Um, that way we can communicate through our comments. And so I thought, what a better way to start off a new vlog for the new year is ask, what are you guys looking forward to most in the new year do you guys have plans are you guys getting married are you guys going on vacation somewhere what is something that you guys have on the agenda for the future in 2017 leave me a comment below and let me know what you're looking forward to and i will talk to you guys later oh wait i want to tell you guys what i'm looking forward to really quick in 2017. brian and i actually have two trips planned that we want to um that we want to go on um the first one being new york city we've um we have never been together as a couple so we are looking forward to going i don't have exact dates our plans yet for that but I do know we are planning on doing that sometime this year I think in the spring and then in the fall in October we are headed to California for an entire week spending some time at Disneyland as well so those are some of the things I'm looking forward to in 2017 again leave me a comment below and I will talk to you guys later thanks so much for hanging out with me bye friends